What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and today I'm going to show you an incredibly useful piece of software that you may find very interesting if you're constantly having the resolution of your screens being changed on Windows, either through remote desktop or by plugging in and unplugging other monitors over time. So as you know, when your resolution on your desktop is changed, the position of all your icons change as well. Say you unplug a monitor and plug it back in, the icons that were on that screen won't necessarily go back to the exact same spot all the time. And as you may notice, the background of today's video is a little bit different. Well, with the help of another recording software, you'll be seeing something you usually don't see. All of this. This is my right screen, middle screen and left screen over here. As you can see, there are icons distributed all over the place. And if I were to unplug one of the screens and plug it back in, the icons that were on that screen would simply be moved off and they wouldn't return back to their original spots. But with today's video, this should be solved for you. We're going to be using a piece of software called Desktop OK. This piece of software was something I found on a fellow South African streamer's live stream when they mentioned that this helps them. So thanks to Cuba Grumpy. Anyways, what exactly does the software do? Well, it lets you save all the icon positions on your desktop and restore them at will. So once you have the software open, simply just click save to save the icon positions on your entire desktop. And when you're ready, click restore after selecting it or right click and restore. You can also set it to restore at Windows Startup if your screens readjust when you're locking into Windows. But we'll click the punch button to randomize the position of everything. I'll click yes. And you can see that icons are randomly moved around my screen. My right screen is completely empty. If I were to double click on this one over here, the one that we saved first, you'll see that all of the icons are reset back to their original positions. And this one over here was set just before we randomized the positions. Of course, we can right click and delete, and we can right click and use this for restore at startup, meaning that every time we log in, this will be used. So, assuming you'd also like different workspaces, you can also have them in here and switch between them as you see fit. To rename them, we can either slowly double click on the title over here, or we can click the little rename button at the top over here. At the top under tools, we do have quite a few other options and interesting things that we can do. But of course, I won't be going through them as they seem rather niche and not necessarily connected to this project. Though of course, if you find these useful, you can look at these up here. I would assume a lot of these link out to their other software. Under Desktop OK, we have some options for the software over here. We can save the current loadout as DOK files or load them back from existing save files. But anyways, that's about it for this piece of software. So how exactly do you get it? Well, it's a simple download that'll be linked down in the description below. When you get there, you'll see a page like this. Simply just click download on the left hand side over here and we'll see a bunch of different options. We can download the 32 bit installer, 64 bit installer, or we can download the portable version, which is what I showed you earlier. If you'd like it to start up with Windows, the best option is to go with one of these two installers over here. And when I was downloading the software, there was a note about using the 64 bit version preferably because it's apparently a lot better than the 32 bit version. Of course, if you're using a PC for gaming or you have more than four gigs of RAM installed, then you more than likely have a 64 bit PC. Anyways, clicking on the zip, it'll go ahead and download as such. Then we can simply click on the zip once it's downloaded. And then all we have to do is simply double click on desktop OK installer x64. Then we'll see this pop up over here. We can select a language, install location, choose whether we want it to be portable or not, which will disable the uninstaller. And we have a bunch of other options over here. After we click install, it'll install to this directory over here. As long as this isn't moved, then if you tell it to start with Windows, then it should work properly. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.